Hi guys, it's Ben from Nerf Mods for Dummies. Once again, today you're going to be looking at the Zombie Strike Hammer Shot, which is probably the most favoured blaster used in HVZ or CQB. And this is just purely stock at the moment. This will be a re really, really quick video, so to give you guys a bit more content, I want to share with you my Hammer Shot. Now this one here is custom painted by a modder called Dwayne Stanley, Frankenzilla Mods. Really, really impressed by his work. I really do like it. It has a metal hammer and trigger kit from Blaster, Blaster Parts, which is a German company that makes parts. My custom one has about 11 kilo worth of spring in it, and it's been rebarreled in brass to give it a lot more poke. I'll shoot next to the camera so you can hear it. I so, said, yeah, this goes really well and I'm really happy with it. Not only for the power of the springs, the comfort of the metal, or the extra accuracy that the brass will give you, but also the paint job that he done, which really does look like a humans versus zombies type blaster. So I really do like this one. It's my favorite. Here is your plain basic out the box one. Um, a lot of 3D printers at the moment are coming out with the seven barrels. Orange Modworks came out with a six barrel first, uh, but now it was very expensive when it came out. And it's um, even more expensive now that it's out of production. Really for the money you're gonna pay, it's not really, I don't feel it's worth the extra shot, but everyone's got their own idea. Again, it's your toy, it's not mine. With my toy, I just keep it as five shots. If I wanted to carry more than five or six around, I would just have a um, retaliator with all the accessories taken off and a 12 shot mag in that. Because that does quite well at about 100 feet per second with the um, 5 kilo spring in it. Okay, just going through and making sure. Again, tack rail attachment there with the spring, so be careful it doesn't pop out on you. Okay, I don't have one here at the moment, but like I said, 3D printers are doing seven shot barrels. To do this, it will be just to take this out. Oh, sorry, again, get your camera out, take a picture. There isn't a lot that you can move around in this, but the trigger system, yes, is a little bit, it's mainly sealed. So you can really shake it, you're not gonna lose a lot. So you can still take a picture if it makes you feel comfortable. If you've got a 3D printed barrel from one of your local 3D printers, that's easy, just pull it straight out. Grab your new one, push it into there, and you'll feel it lock in place because it runs on gears. Now rounded side up, flat side down, and it's in. Close it back up, re-screw it, and done. You've got your seven, seven shot barrel in it. With this one, I do normally use Orange Modworks or Blastertech springs, but I'm lucky enough to have this at my local hardware shop, which cost me $2. That's what I use in my, my one, and it gives you probably about eight to nine kilos worth of spring power. Just take out the original, so just wedge it up with your screwdriver, and you'll notice here that it is flanged at the bottom to make it sit in a bit better, and the wider end here to sit on the base. So remove that. And this one I've got in is straight. But the Orange Modworks ones, which you can get, Orange Modworks and uh, Blaster Parts both do 8 kilo attachments for it. Uh, sorry, 8 kilo springs for it. And they both work really well, just they both are overseas shipping for me and a lot more expensive than a $2 hardware shop one. But like I said, that one does me really well. When I set on my one, I've got 11 kilos. I've actually put the upgraded spring in with the original. With the, you can do that with this spring, but if you get the Orange Mod Works or Blaster Parts spring, they are standalone, so you cannot put a second spring in with it. This is probably gonna be the quickest and easiest video I've done so far. And a hammer shot, because it's one-handed, is really popular. People do dual wheeling makes gives you a bit of a cowboy feel and you can get holsters there's a 3d printed one that I have I got through custom 3d 
I can't remember his name now, Custom 3D Nerf, I think his name was, on eBay. If you just look up Custom 3D Nerf on eBay, or 3D Print Nerf on eBay, you'll be able to find it. Okay, and that's done. Spring's been replaced, I have still the stock barrel, but I said swapping barrels is really easy. Primed. Uh, dart. A lot more power, more resistance on the prime, and you can still deprime it, and it still goes really well. You could use, if you've got bigger hands, stronger hands, younger hands, say anyone under 10, 12 might find it a bit harder. For anyone over 12, it's quite easy to prime. Yeah, good increase, two all apart, and under five minutes. If you did want to look at getting I do recommend these kits, they feel so good to use um, for the hammer and trigger and it also comes with the 8 kilo spring as well. Depending on your region and country, they can get up to like 30 odd dollars and that comes in from Germany, which is blaster parts. So I recommend it, if you're going to use it all the time, it is so comfortable to use. Also for bigger hands and with the larger spring load I've got on it. You can hear it hit, but with a larger spring load, it's just so much easier to pull on something that big. Anyway, that's my video for the hammer shot. Thanks guys for watching. Please like, subscribe and share these videos, and I plan on doing some more really soon. Thank you.